This video, I'm going to show you how to upload a custom HTML signature into Outlook. So the first thing that you want to do is come over to File, and then click on Options here in the bottom left. And then once this pops open, we want to click on Mail, and then click on Signatures. Go here and click New, give it a name. Click OK and then click OK here. And then we want to come back to signatures, but before we click that, we want to hold down the control button on our keyboard and then click on signatures again. This window should pop open. Um, when it does, make sure that the file extensions are visible. So you'll see here that there's .htm, .rtf, .txt, Make sure those are visible. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if you go over to Options and click on View and Hide Extensions for Known File Types, you'll notice that those are no longer visible, those, those extensions. Um, for certain people, this might be set to by default to not show it. In order to make this entire process work, you have to have your uh, extensions for known file types visible. So just make sure that this is unchecked and then you can go from there. Um, so you'll see right here, this is the new blank signature that we just created. So what we wanna do is go in and replace it with the uh, completed signature that we have. Um, and so in order to do that, we want to pull open the completed signature, we want to copy that into here, and then we want to take the name from the blank signature and copy that, and then and make sure when you copy it that you're copying everything in front of the .html. You don't want to include uh, the .html. So go ahead and copy that. We'll delete the file, and then we'll come over here and we'll rename this, we'll paste that in there, and then we want to go over to .html. We want to remove the .html, the, the L from .html, and then click on yes. And then we can come over here and open this up again, click on signatures, and you'll see the new signature in there. There might be a few things that are broken, but that's uh, totally fine. That's typically how it looks within a preview window like this. Um, before we do test it out in a, in a uh, real email, we want to come down here under Choose Default Signature and switch this over to our new signature, and then click OK, OK again, and then click on New Email. And you'll see this pop up. It's our new signature. Everything looks good, so we're good to go.